Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and today we'll take a look on MIUI 10 for OnePlus 3 and 3T. As we know MIUI 10 is available for many Xiaomi devices and huge thanks to developers who made it possible and ported for OnePlus 3 and 3T device. Installation is quite simple just need to download the file from the description below, place it inside the internal memory, boot your device into TWRP recovery and then you need to wipe everything from here excluding internal storage. Once you are done wiping, just go to install and select the file which you have downloaded. Once the process is completed, just reboot your device and complete the initial setup. As this ROM is based on Chinese firmware, so you need to manually install Google Play services using Google Installer. Link can be found in the description below. After installation, you will find many Chinese applications installed on this. To remove them, you can use Titanium Backup or System App Remover from the Play Store. And after uninstalling those applications, you will have a clean ROM with no Chinese applications available. So these are the software information, MIUI 10 version 8.7.5 which is an beta update. Going to all specs, here you can see model number. Android version is 7.1.2 with a security patch of 1st June 2018. This ROM comes with Google Camera and in Google Camera video recording, portrait mode with front and back and HDR is working perfectly fine. This ROM comes with Magisk pre-installed, you don't have to manually flash to have root access. GPS is working fine as you can see here, weather application, detect my location and show me the weather details. Volti services are working fine, you can directly make calls using the phone application. As you guys are aware about the complete UI changes what they have done on MIUI 10 and the same taste you can get it on your OnePlus 3 and 3T devices. So this is a new quick setting panel along with a new redesigned volume panel. With this you also have new recents panel in which you have side by side applications in the app list. From here you can directly select the split screen mode. Just drag the application and the application which is not supported it will give you a message that this app is not supported in split screen mode. Under network, there is no issues related to volt services, Wi-Fi network or Bluetooth. Display have all basic options like text size, ambient display which is working perfectly fine, auto rotation, then you have wallpapers, after that you have themes under which you can download online themes from the MIUI store. MIUI 10 comes with new sound effects like you have all nature sounds available inside the sound and vibration options. Moving on to lock screen and password, here I have been facing a little bit of issues with the fingerprint sensor. So as I have added fingerprint and let's try to open as you can see, most of the time fingerprint scanner fails to detect my fingerprint. And there is no face unlock option available here. Under advanced setting you have smart cover mode which will cover all the sensors along with pocket mode. Notification and status bar gives you options of show notification icons along with show notification speed. And you can also change the battery indicator from graphical, percentage and top bar. Under home screen in recents you have option to lock the home screen layout. And if you want you can also enable show memory status. You also have MI artificial intelligence but this is of no use as it's still in Chinese language. Second space can be accessed from here. You have battery and performance under which you have a option of smart scene. So if you enable this the device whenever the device detects that you are sleeping it will close all the applications which are running in the background along with NFC, Bluetooth and other few services like GPS. Under additional settings you have all options of headphones and audio effect one hand mode MI account is working perfectly fine as I've already added my MI account here this also have features like dual app which is similar to parallel app feature and also you have app lock feature in which you can lock the applications in which you don't want any kind of unauthorized access 
so guys these were the things available on this room there are not much of heating issues or any kind of lag slightly device gets warmed up from the back side which is okay for a regular usage so guys if you have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video hope you like the video and if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching have a great day